What's up guys, it's Cape Canaf. Today, me and you and Laura are gonna go to the pumpkin patch and uh, maybe a corn maze, get Sadie a Halloween costume. Maybe look at some Halloween costumes for us. And uh, yeah, this should be hopefully a shorter vlog than usual, but I hope you guys enjoy it just as much. So yeah, here we go. We're at the pet store looking for pet costumes. I like the Eeyore one. The Eeyore one is kind of cool. The Eeyore. Or like the Tigger enough. one. Those aren't big enough. Well, I know, but where are the bigger ones? Oh, that. No. Sadie's like buff. She wouldn't look good in a uh, skirt. No. It's a gerbil. It's so cute. Okay, take my cheese. We got Sonic. And Laura got corn dogs. And I got a bacon, uh, bacon cheese uh, pretzel dog kind of thing. And it's amazing. And of course, you gotta have the uh, Game Fuel Mountain Dew. How's your corn dog? What? You took too big of a bite? <laughs> yeah, we love Sonic and food and stuff like that. It's delicious. And we're on our way to the pumpkin patch, so it should be fun. We're in the country. The country and uh, to go to the patch. What? Yeah, it's like right there. There's like a corn maze here. This isn't, I don't think this is a corn maze. Ah, this is a pretty tall grass. And then a pumpkin patch and we're gonna do both. So it should be pretty exciting, I hope. I'm sure it will be. Gold up there. Zoom in. I, I can't do it with one hand. Look at the gut up there. There's a goat <laughs> on a, a tree thing. And he's not even eating it. He's like, oh yeah, your fingers taste so good. The food is right there. Ow! He <laughs> bit me. Look, <laughs> well, he's just licking my hand. He's not even eating. <laughs> is he eating yours? He's just licking it. He's so cute. He's a very lucky goat. <laughs> His lips feel funny. Oh my god. He's just biting you. I know. And he's away. It's a big ass. The peacocks in the natural habitat. Hold on. He's like, come on. Here, go ahead. Yeah. He loves our food. I have food too. He's like, oh. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. He loves that. And now my hand's empty. <laughs> Thanks for Can the entertainment. You? He's like, no. <laughs> it's a Laura for sale. A kid. There's a super small baby one. And then there's a giant ass one. Jesus. There's a big difference. I know, that one's adorable. Excuse me. We're looking for the biggest pumpkin that we can find. I think that's a lot of them are like thunder. You think that's a sun? It looks like something is eating them.
they're all pretty much smashed or like eaten by something or something like that. Yeah, okay. A deformed pumpkin. Maybe it's just a gourd. Maybe it's not even a pumpkin. It does kind of look like a gourd. I've never seen one in mine. That's kind of cool though. That is kind of cool. Small on this one, oh, yeah, there's more. There's more what? Oh. There's little white pumpkins too. I have a feeling that someone's gonna be like, oh, I don't want this pumpkin because it's dirty and it'll be a nice one and we'll get it. I hope. We can always wash them. That's true. <sighs> but they're all small. We're looking for a bigger pumpkin, which we're not having any luck. This one looks pretty nice. There's gonna be something wrong with it. Hole. <laughs> How about that one? Okay. I think there's a hole on the other side of that one. No, it actually looks pretty decent. We gotta walk all the way back over there. Do you see anything? No. I mean, do you see anything else? No. I kind of like this one. Well, now which one do you want? Mm. Oh, thanks, honey. Two pumpkins. I ripped Laura's stem off for pumpkin on accident. I was trying to break off the stem, or break off the pumpkin off the stem. Did not work out so well. So she doesn't have a stem on her pumpkin now. But apparently, Laura likes pumpkins that aren't nice and orange, perfectly round. Or that even look good. She likes ones that have measles, like this. It's gross and disgusting. Like, I'm not judging, but it just looks gross. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, so we're at a corn maze right now, and we're basically going through this maze trying to find the way out and it's like there's tons of uh here i'll show it like tons of designs oh there's glare there's glare yeah there's tons of designs oh, and stop stuff stop pointing your flashlight on it okay sorry i don't know if you can see it there you go sporting yeah. casey there's tons of designs on it so it looks really cool and so it's a huge maze like a four hour maze so we're gonna have to go through it and it's gonna be awesome so, so right now it's 7 15. yeah so we'll check when it is when we finish it uh, i'm running and stuff it's creepy okay We'll tell you guys when it's we're done. All right, so what's up, guys? Uh, we just got out of the uh, corn maze and we finished it within like how? how well, what time is it? Uh, within maybe like two hours or so, maybe two and a half. Uh, what? We're, we started at seven fifteen. We started at seven fifteen and we ended at ten, around ten. So maybe like however many, however much time that is. But it was really confusing. There was like a couple paths, uh, like if you guys saw what we were talking about, like on this map that we had. And it took a really long time. Um, it was, let's see, probably a total of almost seven miles of just in a corn maze, going around different areas, trying to get like these uh, hole punches or whatever for the card that we had. And uh, I went up after we got it and I was like, oh sweet, so what do we win? And they gave us stickers. So apparently we walked for three hours for stickers. Um, other than that though, it was pretty good. We're probably going to get some food right now because we're starving and our feet hurt and our legs hurt and we're tired and, and we're it sucks. And we're covered in mud because it was really muddy and it just rained a couple days ago. So yeah, but we're gonna go get food right now. 